This is a Market Owl dashboard tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to cover the Market Owl dashboard portfolio section and related pages. The first section we have is portfolio. It shows your portfolio long and short. At the top you have a benchmark. Then you have the percent change from the open. The relative strength in green versus the relative weakness in red. The advancers in green versus the declining stocks in red. And then the advancing and declining volume advancing green, declining red. It structures your portfolio from your weakest position to your strongest. Here it'll show your top five weakest positions for your long book and then again the same for your short book. You can also see that the information that was at the top for your long book is also available for your short book. In this case the benchmark is QID. That's a NASDAQ short ETF or inverse ETF, but you have the exact same information. It makes sense to use a benchmark that's as closely related to the types of stocks that you have as possible. It's very simple. You've got the tickers, the amount of profit or loss, the percent change for today. You have where price is in the range for the day. If it's 90% it means it's near the high. If it's 10% it's near the low. 50% it's in the middle of today's price action from high to low. There's above or below average volume. If it's above average it'll be in bold black. If it's below average it will be in red. Then there's the up down volume ratio and an adjustable EMA. Simply change the blue font to whatever moving average you want. It takes a brief second and then it compares how far price is above or below the specified moving average. Everything's set up exactly the same for the short book. Where do you find all the information for the portfolio? It's to the right of the Market Owl tab and it's labeled Portfolio. Just click on it and it takes you to both your long book and your short book. You can quickly see the relative strength at the open versus the relative strength changes from the open as well as the advances at the open and the advanced declined number of issues in your portfolio from the open, as well as above and below average volume. You must enter a data provider. You must enter a benchmark. All the relative strength and relative weakness is calculated in relation to the benchmark you choose. Under the benchmark, you have the percent change at the open, from the open, for the day, for the benchmark, as well as whether it is above or below average volume. You can see on your short book we have a different benchmark and that generates different data. The dark green and the light green are both areas that you'd enter information. You can also enter information where you see orange font or blue font as I mentioned earlier with the moving averages. So you can enter up to 20 tickers. You enter the price you went long that corresponds to that ticker and the rest of the page will automatically calculate your P&L. It also notes the percent change for the day and the percent change from the open for the day. It automatically ranks your portfolio long and short from weakest to strongest. That way you can keep an eye on the positions that are not performing well. You can let your winners run and cut your losers short. This page will also highlight any loss that's over 5%, whether it's for your P&L as a whole, for the percent change for the day, or the percent change from the open. Some people see visual data more easily than they see written data and numbers. I've included two charts that essentially show the same information. You've got your long book and then you've got your short book. They're each labeled. It shows you visually how much P&L you have. You can quickly see on the long book chart that GE is down 9.5% from your entry point and that TTD is one of your best performers with a P&L of plus 766.3%. You can compare and contrast your long book and your short book performance. The visual will quickly draw your eye to the most underperforming and best performing stocks. That can help you quickly assess at the end of every week or every month or how often you rebalance your portfolio as to what positions you might want to trim for profits and those you might want to cut short for losses. All of the information at the header of your portfolio is here on the Market Owl. So if you wish to make changes in your benchmark, for example, you need to go to the Portfolio page and make the change there. If you go to the Market Owl dashboard main page, 
you can see that the benchmark is in black, indicating that you cannot make changes there. There is one other place that shows portfolio information, and that is on the Owl Watch number one tab. If you go to that page, you can quickly see your long book and your short book, the weakest five positions for each. That allows you to keep a close eye on the stocks that are in your portfolio that are underperforming on an intraday or daily basis. If you found my free educational materials helpful, I encourage you to make a donation to the Children's Therapy Center, an outstanding nonprofit organization that helps children with special needs. You can also give without actually giving by using Amazon Smile. Amazon Smile is run by Amazon.com and a portion of your purchases will go to the charity of your choice. Simply select Children's Therapy Center located in Kent, Washington. You can find more about the Children's Therapy Center on my website on the Principles page. You can also find links to CTC on my YouTube channel in the About section as well as under every video that I produce. Also consider donating if you've had a great year in trading. Be generous. Contribute. Give back. Lend a hand to those in need. You can find more free educational material on my website. Under the Education tab, you'll find helpful podcasts, YouTubes, chat room information, book suggestions, webinars, presentations, and helpful resource links. There's information on lessons learned and psychology, trades made, a dedicated section to trading growth stocks, market information, helpful tools and discounts on trading services, information on XLQ, an Excel plugin that retrieves real-time and historical financial data, market and stock analysis, and there's an assortment of videos on my YouTube channel. All this information is for educational purposes only and the goal is to help you build a solid foundation that you can expand upon. Our chat room is popular and a favorite for many growth stock traders. Take the time to build a solid foundation of understanding before you begin trading. Take the time to clearly define your setups, your entry triggers, your sell rules, and most importantly, have a thorough plan for risk management. The first step in that journey is learning. There are no shortcuts to successful trading. So take the time to research and to educate yourself thoroughly.